Alan Rio and Chevy. Hey everyone, welcome to I Just Watch. It's your boy Joseph, and we're here to talk Red Notice, a Netflix original starring three very talented folk, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, and the beautiful, masterful Gal Gadot. Before we jump into it, I gotta hit you with the usual, which is hopefully you like this video enough to smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and hit that little bell to get notified. That being said, let's talk Red Notice. I know it was like number one for a good minute. People were loving it. I can't stand this movie. It was like all this talent. And this movie was boring, bro. Like, it was hard to watch. Like, it took me multiple attempts to finally watch this movie through and through. I kept falling asleep. That's not easy for me. Like, I'm a movie person. Usually, I'm like, a movie kicks on and I get energy because I'm watching it. You know, like, even super shitty movies, usually I'm there like, oh, let me just finish it. This one was hard to watch. I think one of the biggest reasons is I am beyond over the fact that Ryan and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are playing the exact same person or have been in like the last 10 films or whatever. 10 is probably exaggerated. However, all they're doing is playing the exact same characters in different movies. It's not even acting anymore. It's boring. It's not funny anymore. Like it's the gag that it is is over for me. I didn't even like it when the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. And then it became a thing. And I'm like, bro, like, I miss, I miss The Rock doing movies that had, like, crazy roles. You know what I mean? Like, The Rundown, which is, this is early Rock shit. But, like, The Rundown, Walking Tall, Gridiron Game, uh, the fucking Tooth Fairy, sweet Jesus. Even then, like, there's other movies that he's done recently where, like, he's just the same, he's just a big, he's just a big dude who ends up in a jungle or something like you know what i'm saying like it it's stupid more capable than being just a big dude you know like the big dude who's like funny or whatever like no he's more capable than that ryan ryan who i love hasn't been the same since deadpool like yes i love him as deadpool he's absolutely fantastic as deadpool but he can be more than deadpool ladies and gentlemen like that's all he's been doing and uh, maybe that's his personality which is perfectly fine if that was his, if that's his personality and we're hanging out, that is great. I'm going to love that dude. That's going to be fun and dope to hang out with. But in every single movie, you're going to do the same thing. I'm over it. I liked him like in Adventureland. I loved him uh, as the voice for Turbo. Like, Waiting. That's a great film. But, like, it's, there's, yes, it's a piece of his, of his personality characteristics, whatever, shine in those. But it's not just that. It's not like a... A knockoff Deadpool in every single thing. So I'm just over that. And I'll move on. I apologize. It just, it's annoying. So I'm over it. Uh, it's one of the biggest reasons I couldn't stand this movie. Because uh, it was just the same thing over and over. Hobbs and Shaw when they meet for breakfast or whatever. Blech. Basura. The uh, best part about this horrible movie to me is Gal Gadot. I mean, she's interesting. She's like uh, glowing. She's entertaining. She has some good quips. She's fucking stunning. And like this whole movie, like... She's a cool character here because she's at least still trying to play, you know, she she didn't just become Wonder Woman and say, that's all I'm going to do now. No, like, she's still, like, look at, uh, was it Death on the Nile? She's still attempting to play different roles. Thus, I'm nervous to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Black Adam because that's a very serious character. That's a cool character, in my opinion. I like that character. He's very vicious, but, like, I'm nervous you know, like, the suit, I mean, looks all right. I wish they would have just went straight black with the gold. I think they're trying too much with, like, the little texture or whatever, just black, gold. Trust me, it works. But that's neither here nor there. Back to this. I mean, the movie's, meh, it's whatever. Overall, one of, the uh, personally, one of, like, the biggest Netflix letdowns. And really, it's weird because Netflix is either a hardcore banger, and it's, like, one of the best movies ever, or uh, it's basura. Like, it's rare when there's anything in the middle that I'm like, no, it's not bad. Like, it, that's... That middle, like, enjoyable ground is rare for them. So it's either I love it, this is the best thing ever, watch it, or I hate it, it's basura, get it away from me. I want to hear your thoughts, your uh, views on this film, assuming you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, are you going to see it? Do you want to check it out? Do you care for it? Do you think I'm 100% wrong? And did you love this movie? If so, why? Let me know. Love hearing from you. Comments, questions, concerns, requests down below. But until next time, stay safe, be well. Adios.